Piston Slap here, and I'd like to thank you for joining me on another Dirty Vlog episode. What we have here is the Polaris 2000, is it the 2015 Polaris Razor 1000? Uh, it's the four seater version. Uh, it's got Walker Evan shocks all the way around, big nasty mud tires, electronic power steering, fuel injected, twin cylinder. I'd like to say V8, but. <laughs> It's a, just a two-cylinder. It is a, a 1,000 cc two-cylinder. Uh, pumping out about 110 horsepower, 70 foot-pounds of torque. So what's that uh, equivalent to, like your average small smart car or something like that? And a little potato chip. What does this thing weigh? Like 2,700 pounds. Uh, so, you know, all the power you guys could ever want. This thing, it flat out flies. I didn't check the top speed on it because I was doing the break-in for it uh, for my parents. So just, you know, took it easy. Uh, I did take it up to 60 miles an hour, which, you know, to me 60 is, uh, that's uh, old man territory for speed. But, you know, for break-in, that's plenty fast enough. You know, you got to wear in that belt. You got to wear in the motor to get all that stuff going. So aside from that, uh, horsepower and torque numbers, you know, the engine, for what I was doing with it, worked great. I took it out in the Mojave Desert, dirt roads, washes and everything, worked great. Gravel pits, worked great. Uh, up here in the Kaibab National Forest, around the Forest Service roads, plenty of power. So the big question, and what uh, everybody's always talking about, it seems like, when it comes to UTVs, is the suspension. What's it got? How much does it have? You know, what's it feel like? Uh, well, I got to experience that, and what I can tell you is from riding around in the forest, out in the desert and everything, it's nice. It's plush, it's soft. You know, after driving it all day, I want to get in it and drive it again, all night. And, you know, I wouldn't ever get out of the thing, but I guess you got to sleep and eat and, well, I guess you could eat while you drive, but anyway, like, like I said, I just never wanted to get out of the thing. Uh, Polaris did a really good job. They're giving you 16 inches of travel up in the front, 18 inches of travel in the rear, and they're giving you 13 and a little bit more for uh, ground clearance. Um, they give you uh, Walker Evans shocks on all four corners. So, you know, and what that is, Walker Evans, you know, a real good name in the off-road industry. They know what they're doing when they're building shocks. And when they put this together with the Polaris, uh, they really put them put their uh, R&D into it it came out fantastic they have adjusters that are real easy to get to so if you get into some real rough stuff and you want to just kind of carry a little bit of speed you can soften up the suspension to work for you if you're on the higher speed roads where you don't really need a lot of tire movement and travel you can tighten it up a little bit so you get some stability out of it um, another reason why I wanted to try it out on this particular area was you go from about 3,000 feet all the way up to just over 9,000 feet and most of the stuff you'll notice as you get towards the top that it's it's gasping for air it's laboring that motor it just doesn't feel like it's got power the fuel injection in this thing when you started getting up towards the top you didn't even notice it you couldn't tell that the that it was even having to work for that you know, and up there at 10,000 feet, if you're if you've never been up there, when you're walking around, I mean, just like trying to climb a ladder, it, it make you wind it a little bit. Uh, other than that, uh, some of the safety features that they have in this thing is, uh, like I've said in my previous video, if your seatbelt's not buckled, well, they're not going to let you go. You know, if you're cruising along at four or five mile an hour, you probably wouldn't notice it, but if you just hit that throttle one good time, it'll it'll just fall right on its face. Uh, they give you the nice half doors and everything with latches and everything, so you got all that. You just shut the doors, and everything is nice there. Seat belts all the way around. The front seats for the passenger and driver are adjustable, so you know for you taller guys like me, it's almost six foot, you can slide that seat back. And my wife out there in the back seat, she still had plenty of leg room. Um, also for the passenger, you know, if you got a short guy or a tall guy, move it forward, move it backward, you know, wherever wherever you want. Uh, the glove box, plenty of room in there if you want to, you know, you can put a lot of stuff. The glove box in this thing kind of blew my mind on how big it was. Uh, if you could imagine probably like two loaves of bread, you could probably fit two loaves of bread in there or, you know, 
whatever you guys could imagine that would be about the size of two loaves of bread sticking it in there uh, same for the the center console man there was quite a bit of room in there uh, you got a place to put your phone for the GPS uh, and then right behind that was uh, probably a cubby that was about six eight inches deep and probably about six inches tall um, the cargo area in the bed of this thing, uh, we've got about a mid-sized ice chest just strapped in the back there, and that's taken up about 75% of the bed, so there's not really a whole lot of room back there. Um, some people, uh, you find videos of it where they stick their gas cans back there. Um, I wouldn't recommend that because right underneath all this stuff is where your engine is. And, you know, engines, heat, gasoline, they don't work out so well. So, you know, I don't want to find out the consequences because these things uh they are pricey uh 25 grand is about the price tag for one of these things now it is going to vary from state to state place to place and how nice your sales guy is i mean if you get a guy that's just really wanting to sell one or something you might get lucky and get it less than that uh the plastic roof on this one uh was extra and we actually talked our sales guy into throwing it in for free the rear view mirror uh, the, the rear view mirror uh, was something that we fabricated. Uh, doesn't come with this model. Uh, Polaris does offer one, but other than that, um, seemed to be everything that you know for a bone stock razor that you could ever want. Um, there are a few things that I would like, like you know the windshield and stuff like that. Uh, they have heater options and stuff like that. You guys can check all that out on the Polaris site. Uh, as you can see, we are at the top of the mountain. That means this is the end of the video, guys. So uh, thanks for joining me. I'm Piss and Slap. Have a great day. Uh, if you like that content, hit that like button. Questions, comments, drop them in the box below. And hit that subscribe button.